Hello again, it's your beer, friendly beer vet. Hashtag Fandom Menace member, not an official member, not a leader, but I'm a fan and I am definitely a supporter. Um, I'm here to do another review of a book called Annihilation The Old Republic Star Wars, uh, but written by Drew Kampshine. I probably messed that up, sorry, but yeah. And narrated by Mark Thompson. Um, Annihilation is a great book. I skipped one of the ones before it because I heard it wasn't very good. So I went from uh, Revan, then I did a Deceived. It was a great book. And now I did Annihilation, which is like the last of the Old Republic books, I think. There might be another one. I'll, I'll have to look later. Um, it was great. Annihilation was cool. It was different than most of the Star Wars stuff. You know, it dealt with some of the Jedi a little bit, but for those who know Shatil Shan, who was like the Jedi Master back then, she has a son. Like, holy shit. Yeah, fucking. See, yeah, I always like the Sith, because I, I think the Sith are more honest than the Jedi, and a lot of the Jedi have problems. And in these books, it shows kind of the problems with the Jedi. Like, they're kind of hypocritical a little bit, and she fell in love with one of the dudes and she had a child um it's about him and he's an SIS agent for the Republic it's kind of like their special um uh, CIA type people you know the James Bond and the, you know spy he kind of does a spy he likes a hack he uh, does like cool little things. He doesn't have the force, so he doesn't. You don't see him use the force, but he takes on Sith lords with no force, and it's interesting. So if you really want to read a book that has that does with like Republic and Empire, like the back scenes a little bit, it has a little bit of Jedi and stuff in it. This is more of like how does it all work together? How does you know the Republic work with the Jedi's who also work with you know other things to protect the universe and. It shows some a little bit of the dark side in the Republic itself. Um, it shows the Empire and how some of its inner structure works. It it deals with like some of the huts. It, you know, it does. It's really good though. Like this book's really good. Um, it's not. I think Deceived was my favorite because it really dealt with um, Dark Malgus and his story. And I'm playing the old, the old Republic game, the online one, and it's fun. I really like the game and the the stories. This is a review for the book, but also the game. I'm gonna do a part of it, the the old Republic game. Um, each character you play, each class has its own story. Side quests, everything are massively voice acted. You have choices. You can go light side, dark side in some choices. You can, and it affects the story. It absolutely does. Like if you go too much dark side as a Jedi Knight, you can be banished from the Jedi Council, which is cool. Um, or you, you know, you can pick love or trust. You got, you know, um, from Revan, one of the main characters from there is actually in the game and becomes your uh, one of your companions, um, Scourge, Dark Scourge, who's uh, the Emperor's Wrath. But he, he always plans on betraying the Empire in the book Revan. And it was really cool to, because I just finished the Jedi Knight story. So it was really cool to see that story from the book that I read come full circle in the game. I know these, these books were written to help with the game. And yeah, sometimes I don't really like that. But you don't need to read the book to play the game. You don't. But it's kind of cool. I like I like lore. I love deep diving into stuff. And any, any books, games, you know, anything I could get into that has a deep backstory that I can really read into or play the game. Like Witcher 3, I really love that game. And I like to look back at what's going on. Skyrim, you know, those kind of games. But yeah, the, it's really good. Um, the game is getting really fun. You can play both Republic and Empire. You can play as a Sith. You can play as a spy for the Sith Empire. You can play a mercenary, you know, bounty hunter for them. I think with the Jedi, you play as a Jedi Knight, Jedi Counselor, which is like 
Are you more force user or are you more battled, you know, lightsaber type? And then you have the trooper, which you could play as one of the Republic, old Republic troopers. I haven't done that story. I think I'm going to do that one next. Um, I'm doing this all for my little laptop, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, the game is a lot of fun. It's really fun. I'm having a good time with it. I just love, I love games of story. If you have a good story, the games can just kind of fizzle out for me. And, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to let you guys know. If you guys are ever getting to the MMOs that are kept mostly free to play, yeah, you have, there is a subscription if you want to pay it. Like, you don't have to buy the expansions. You get the game. You can play it for free. The entire, till the end of the Hut Cartel, I think. And then if you pay for the subscription fee, which isn't that bad, it's like $30. I think I paid $30 for three months or six months, something like that. And I get all the expansions for free with that. So I don't have to go out and buy the, you know, all the you know stuff again. And it, that was good. Um, so now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working on, I'm finishing up the Jedi Knight. I just finished up the Emperor and the Jedi Knight storyline. Um, I'm going to start the Heart Cartel next in the game. I'm just I'm going to go story by story. You can jump ahead because I have a couple coins that allow you to jump ahead, but I can't do it. I've tried, and then I just I love story. I love to like play my and role play in my character. So there's you know I don't want to jump ahead too much. And I used to play a game a long time ago, so I'm really getting back into it. And and with the books. Everything is just so much more detailed and so much, like you really feel like you're part of the story. You feel like you're a part of something huge. You get different companions and you can just pick whichever one you want to go with you. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes it matters. Some of the decisions, they'll approve or disapprove of what you're doing. And yeah, and sometimes it's a hell of a fun to play a Sith Lord who just lightens people all the time. Just like fucking, you know. <laughs> or the Sith uh, Marauder who gets to like force choke people. You can just play Vader. Make a Vader character. Yeah. Yeah, Vader's one of my favorite characters. He's actually, my phone case is a Vader case. So, Vader is a great character until they try to screw him up in his entire lot storyline. But that's not the point of this video. I don't want to go on a rant. But Annihilation was a great book. If you're looking, if you're even watching this, uh, small YouTube channel, very few views, but if you're watching this and you really want to get into the Old Republic lure, if you want to try to see what, you know, the good stuff, not this new High Republic crap they're coming out with, but like the good stuff. You know, a lot of people want to, really want to movies about the Old Republic. And I think they need to. If they're really, if they have any brains, go back in the movies the old republic dark revan would be a freaking cool ass character to do it malgus is a great character you got female jedi freaking deceived the main character the main hero in the character is a female and you know and then she ends up abandoning the jedi to face off malgus for revenge because she she can't deal with the whole no you know he can't be attached and her master is killed and she goes into a rage and she decides to kill fine and kill Magus but in the end she ends up not but she's not allowed back into it because they're making peace with the Empire over the attack in Coruscant I'm trying to do the peace deal which a lot of people think I'm ridiculous Malgus hates it he believes in his story he believes that um, Darkseid Manifest it's the force manifests best in war and the dark side especially so if you want to be a true master of the dark side war is all you need so he loves war he loves death he loves destruction, fighting his enemies seeing who comes out on top if he fails and he knows that it was meant to fail you know he wasn't strong enough but someone stronger finally killed him so you know it's, it's really fun I'm really good at liking these books um, Annihilation it was really it's audiobooks. I got the audiobooks because I like to listen to them while I'm, you know, doing stuff. And it just, it's really good. Um, I'm still working on Dune, reading that. 
kind of got too far into it. I kind of stopped working on my own book, which I just typed up chapter to chapter 13, I think I am on now. Uh, I already written it out beforehand. Now, now I'm typing it out. I'm actually changing a lot from what I wrote down. <laughs> so it's fun. It's it's interesting trying to build your own universe. And me and my brother, you know, passing things off on each other, trying to figure out how does this fit in. What about this? This, is, this sounds cool. Will this fit in there? And some of them are great, and some of them are like it sounds cool, but I don't think it'll work in my book. But we'll see. Um, we're gonna work together. I'm going up there here in about a week or so. I think to go see his daughter's baptism and we're gonna go and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna figure a lot of stuff out and try to get it done as a sense of it the editing part is ready and after the editing part we're gonna work our butts off and get it done and I'm gonna I'm pretty excited I really want to get this book done. I want to get it out there. I want to see how you guys like it. But anyways, I'm going off on a rant. Um, <coughs> yeah, so if you're really looking for a good audiobook and you like Star Wars, you've always been interested in the Old Republic, you don't, you don't, none of them are in order. So it's not like if you get one book, you're not going to be confused about another one. No, some of them are hundreds of years apart. I know the Revan book is like, 300 or so years before deceived and then after that one that one after that is i don't know same maybe less than 100 years i think but annihilation was really good i plan on getting the darth bane trilogy next um working my way through darth bane you know the rule of two and all that stuff i want to know more about him i don't know much about darth bane i know who he is and all that stuff but i don't I never really read his lore, so I'm going to really enjoy getting into his story, and then um, I'll move on from there. I'll probably, I won't read the new stuff that they're coming out with. I'll read the old, the, the old canon, the real canon, but I have no interest in reading the new crap they're coming out with because they're they got rid of it because they said that they wanted to, you know to make it easier for people to understand everything. Now there's no one understands what's going on anymore. Everything is so messed up. They're trying to make Ray a better character through the books and stuff, but they're making her worse. And they're making like the story of like the Palpatine, how he lived. Oh, he was a clone. Oh, so yeah, in the extended universe, he was a clone too, kind of. You know, jump bodies, but it, his clones died. They explained it better in the in the expanded universe. Why didn't you just make that movie then? Oh, we wanted to make Ray. She's a rip off of Jaina. So those are. The, uh, I'm just gonna read the extended universe, and just hope that whenever Kathleen Kennedy is gone, if she ever is gone, hopefully she's gone soon. I really hope she's gone soon. And whoever replaces her, I hope he sits down and he goes, "What is this expanded universe you guys got rid of? Show me that." And he sits down and reads all the books. He goes, "This is great stuff." Why aren't we making movies from this? And they're like, well, you know, uh, we wanted to make our own creative, you know, we want our own stuff. And they go, fuck off. Give me a director, give me a writer, give me the writer who wrote most of these books. Get him down here and them down here, the authors of these damn writers. We're going to pay them royalties and we're getting these fucking movies made the way that the fans really want. And we're going to give them good fucking Star Wars again. That's all we want. It's good fucking Star Wars. And there's good Star Wars. It's just not the new stuff. And yeah, Rogue One was alright. It was... Mediocre. You know the best part of Rogue One? Last like five minutes. Where Vader shows up. That's it. The only thing I liked about that movie is when Vader shows up and just fucking massacres people. Because that shit... That it was like, yeah, that's see, that's fucking Vader. It was like, yeah, not this other crap. Uh, you know, it was a decent movie, but a better spy would be from this guy from Annihilation. You know, he does cool tricks and has some cool tech that helps him out. You know, he's got to actually worry about like different aliens that they come at him, and he won't be able to physically take them on because he's only human. 
with some cybernetics. He doesn't stand a chance. Literally, he's, he's like this guy doesn't stand a chance against the Dark Lord of the Sith. And somehow he uses his wit and his smarts to out, you know, to beat them. And so it was really good. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's it. It's about 15 minute video or rule around that. Um, just go out there, support what we love, support the good stuff, support your convoys gate. You know, Ethan Bad Skyber, I heard he did a really good job with this next Cyber Frog. I haven't been able to get those yet, but I would love to get those. Um, so congratulations on him for his good work. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. And from one man to another, all you know, whatever you guys are doing, stay safe out there with this and you know, all this, uh, what we call it, the, um, the beer bug. <laughs> the beer bug. Just everybody stay safe. You know, don't go crazy. I'm in Missouri. I live in Missouri. And people, like, they did our, you know, they took all the toilet paper and shit in the stores. I'm like, here? Really? We barely have any cases. I don't even know if there's a case around here that hit. Nobody wants to come to Missouri. What the fuck's in Missouri, right? <laughs> Alright. Enjoy. Thank you for coming and watching.